hello Disney friends and we're having a very magical day. I'm currently in the MCO airport or the Orlando International Airport hanging out with the gang, the Dapper Dans, Orange Bird, in front of the castle. As we wait for my friend to arrive, we're gonna head inside of the Magic of Disney store and see what merchandise that they have. I'm very excited to see what they have. Um, this is the first time I've been to it since they redid it. It looks way, way different now. So I'm excited to go and see what merch they have. A lot of it's probably similar. Oh my gosh, all this, oh, all this design. You're getting my first reaction. Stuff like this that is most likely on Shop Disney, I'll just pan through and not necessarily stop for because this is stuff that you can all see online on your own time. However, I'll point out probably like the lounge flies or any like Disney, Walt Disney World specific stuff, but it's cool to see the layout and how they have everything um, set up around here with the magical floor. Oh, I miss Disney stores so much. And this is honestly just feels like a, a big Disney store. Oh, they have the Spider-Man ears. Oh no. I haven't even made it to the parks yet. Oh no. Oh, they got some pressed pennies here too. Look at that. There's your options. Pretty cool. See stuff like this. Like this Walt Disney World tote bag is $35. Look how cute this little wristlet is. Very retro. This is $25. Of course, I got luggage here too, which is very convenient. Other little just Walt Disney World backpacks. It seems a little bit smaller, but maybe not. Here's the 2024 pins for this year. It is the most magical place on earth. Got Mickey and Minnie. Kind of looks like the birthday cake castle. I really like the design for 2024. Beautiful. This is yellow. We will figure out in a bit what that means. There's also a spinner. Which is very, very cute. And there's just this Mickey one with little icons all around it. Love it. I guess we should see the prices of those. Also yellow. And also yellow. I apologize, you already see me freaking out because I literally just landed, just got here, and it's now finally sinking in. So now we're talking a million miles an hour and trying to process all of this good stuff. So bear with me here. I'm trying to slow down. It's also Stitch, with all the little icons too. Again, yellow. Ooh, who's in the mystery packs? Oh, Orange Bird. Some pretty good ones on there. This is $19.99. You get two pins per blind box. Looks like there's still have a few hundredth ones left that we saw the end of my program. There's also some pride ones as well. Haven't seen too many of these recently, although I know they're on Shop Disney. We got here, Press Penny Books for 2023, $17.99. Oh, they still got one for the 50th, $17.99 as well. Oh, look at this one. Little pixelated little 8-bit Marvel pins. Starter pack, this is $40. <gasps> oh my. There's also a princess. A little press penny book there too. I think we'll look mainly through these pins here for sure. Oh, there's new munch. You see, I need to calm down. We need to calm down a second. We got the locking pin backs and extra pin backs in case you're missing them. They're between $12.99 and unmarked. We also have mystery pin series number 16. Also unmarked, but these are little luggage characters. I have seen this pack out for a little bit now. What Munchling series is this? Oh, this is series one still. And there's a look at some of the friends on there. You can see this is also $40. But I believe you get five pins in each bag. It's a pretty cute Marvel one as well. There's all your options. This is also 40. Ooh. Missing that cast discount already. <laughs> Happy birthday Mickey pin. That one's pretty cutie. Also yellow. We gotta figure out what yellow means. Happy New Year. Little Chinese New Year pins. Pretty cute box. It's 20 for two pins. Here's the 2024 pack. Starter pin set. This is 35. Lastly down here we got Across the Spider-Verse pack. Pretty good range there. This is 30 for the four 
We got some extra lanyards in case you're not prepared or want to get started already. They're $14.99. <gasps> stop right now. Oh my gosh, stop right now. Oh no. I haven't seen the Christmas pins yet this year. Look how cute this little Mickey is. He's silver. Okay, I believe that is, will be like $11.99. This one's very cute. The little wreath with the snowman. Adorable. These ones I was super excited about. I don't see Hollywood Studios though. I'm definitely going to get these while I'm here. They're each park in a Mickey head shape. These are also silver. Oh my gosh, there's Epcot. The beautiful. And then there again is one for all four. There's Animal Kingdom, or DAC as we call it. There's one with everybody. We love, we love. That one's yellow. And then down here I just see some pretty traditional ones I've seen for many, many years. American Adventure, interesting. Castle with the Balloons, Mickey with the Balloons. And then just some general Mickey and Friends down there. Oh yeah, we already looked at this side. Let's keep moving around. We got new wedding ones. Oh, they have little bells on them. What? Those are yellow. Oh wait, here's the description of them. Yellow's 15. Oh, silver's 12.99 now. What? And then pink is 16. Oh, there's some really, really cute ones. It's another yellow. I'm just gonna pan through these ones. I think. Good Generally. Morning. Hi. Hi. How are you? Good. How are you? Yep, yeah, we've seen all these, I would say, in the parks recently. And then we'll just pan down these ones as well. Winnie the Pooh and Friends, Alice in Wonderland, Pixar, Big Hero 6. And lastly here we got Star Wars. Some pretty fun ones. Some pretty good Marvel ones too. None that are really standing out as like super new other than the other ones that I pointed out just a few minutes ago. And we got princesses. All right, pretty pretty good pin cut selection here at the airport. Sorry, I zoomed through the first part of the store. I realized it's a lot of his general Star Wars stuff and I walked past it because it's stuff that I have personally seen before. So hopefully my little panning was um, enough for that. The only other thing I see that's sitting over here that would be more a parks item is this piece from the Droid Factory. Oh, some pretty iconic little droids you see hanging around Galaxy's Edge. This is $50. I'm gonna put that right back there. <laughs> Pretty nice Ahsoka lounge. I like the little details and little chains going off of it. This is $88. And I feel like all the Star Wars, like these hats and stuff, are all on shop. In terms of the Spider Man displays, you saw I was very, very excited about these ears, which are most likely $35 and ones that I will be getting probably at some point. I think they're awesome. Or amazing, I should say. That's probably the better word to describe Spider-Man, right? Figure packs that are normally on shop, water bottles are on shop. Oh, a cool little like fanny pack piece. Hard to find the prices on these. This is 40. Wow. Oh, they have little spider bots now? What is happening? All right, we'll go to the other part, other front part of the store. It looks like they have a bunch of Toy Story stuff. I mean, you just plushies and like little toys and things you'll see on Shop Disney. Oh no, there's some Walt Disney World stuff I see over there. <laughs> and then on the other side, this display, just little figurines and stuff. I've seen that lounge light box lunch before. We'll keep moving on. Really nice stitch display here. A little neon stitch display. I think this collection just came out fairly recently. A little 626 action. I know many of you are stitch fans, so this is a good day to have a good day. Mug. Great way to start, I agree. This is $17. I like these little boxes. Those would be good for displaying. <laughs> stitch. A fanny pack. Here, I'm gonna guess the same. Oh, this one's 25. Not too bad. A little kid's sweatshirt, t-shirt, 
classic stitch plushies more shirts we'll, we'll look at as we go around i want to stop here and just take this in for a moment we love this stuff is so unique to the parks in my opinion love this monorail down here with the characters printed on it we also have some classic disney transportation as you can see they now removed the magical express bus from this piece this used to be a three-piece set so things to keep an eye out an eye out for what's this the carousel accessory what <laughs> i collect a lot of these things you can hear me saying what because i'm like i didn't know they were out yet or haven't seen them yet that was pretty exciting classic like little trinkets you'd get on a on a vacation little monorail little tram i love those other little wind up toys and gadgets i also love how they've kind of journeyed into games like the guess who would be really really fun and there's also the different yahtzee sets that are themed in different parks these are Rubik's Cubes. Fab Five Rubik's Cube characters for 20. Puzzles. There's more games. They do have like the small world, like that small world one, and there's a Haunted Mansion one they sell at Target. But like the Monopoly and Candyland are only here. Here's another little quick pan of that stitch display. And water bottles. And a spirit jersey. This one's pretty cute. It's not like just a Stitch one, it's a Walt Disney World. Stitch little hanging out on the beach. Okay, let's take a let's take a guess here. I'm gonna go 70, 80. No price listed. Alright. Turning around, we got some Disney dolls. I do love these little Mickey balloon um, accessories with these. These are like little park bound characters which is pretty pretty fun have yet to see those pretty pretty i'd say standard disney store pieces like the little figure sets like all the doll displays some more princess collections of like kids clothes and backpacks and whatnot and here's a little plush wall We'll pan through the plush wall. We love to see one. Here's a look at the lounge slides they have available. We got Haunted Mansion, little Madame Leota down there. Little Star Wars one we saw at the front. Same with the Toy Story. Classic mini one in rose gold I feel like I see every time. On the other side of that display, we got a little Nightmare for Christmas. Jack Skellington. This, this black one's pretty nice, just a woven design. Some Hanukkah ones. Doug and uh, Encanto. I was blanking on the name there for a second. They also have just this huge LED screen that just keeps panning for the different parks and characters. It's pretty pretty fun. There's the tower. Gets you excited for the holidays. Look at that. There's also a little mug section here. Ooh, okay, good stuff back here. We got the balloon sipper. Pretty cutie. This is 20 $27.99. Over here we got a little castle one. Kind of looks a little bit Mary Blair-ish. It's got sparkles in it. This is 25. I like these retro ones. This is such a cool design. I saw some videos of this. Love our Disney theme parks with the recycling trash can. That is so iconic. $30. I love these retro colors. It says welcome friends. I'm not sure. <laughs> That one doesn't have a sticker on it. Let's see, 23. This one's metal. That's really nice, really nice. This one's 30. I've never seen these, so we're taking our time looking. Ooh, this one's fun, very aesthetic. Little wood top to it. This is 25. Reminds me of like a flower and garden design for sure. Very thin, just Walt Disney World print. This one is 28. I like the colors of this one. Walt Disney Cartoon Pals. Also 28. And we're almost there. Down here. Pretty good one. This is like a hydro flask size. It says Mickey Mouse. And he's just vibing on the other side. This is 30. This is a little insulator cup type thing. This is $20. A little throwback cartoon one. 
I don't want my camera cannot focus on all the stuff going on here. Just classic Mickey Mouse. 28. And a good little like hiking water bottle almost. This is Mickey and Co. Green one. This is 23. Over here we got some fun little mini ones. I like the little glass touch. Very fancy, 28. Kid size, mini, 23. Little tumbler cup here for 17. And then there's the matching little Mickey and Minnie ones. And these are actually clips, which might be nice for your park bag. Might be a little heavy though. That is 35. And then we have seen the monorail lunchbox before, but again, it's $30. It's very, very cute. I also love this. Very throwback. Very classy. And then just another tumbler once again. Go around the other side here, just pan through the mugs. Look how awesome these mugs are. Fantastic, absolutely stunning. These are 17. Look at that. Oh my gosh, those are so amazing. And then down here we just got a little red, not red, what am I saying? Yellow and gray. Just park fun. This one, Mickey, I agree so much. No better way to reset, indeed. $20 mug. Got some Star Wars, some more classic ones. I really, really like um, these mugs that are like the Mickey indented. They have a bunch of different colors. There's even this silver one. They're 17. But you all know that my eye went to this one. Super subtle Mickey heads on that. Beautiful. These ones are super fun. They look like the annual pass order logos, but they're for like mom, dad, grandma, grandpa, abuelo, all that stuff. Pretty cute design. They do say Walt Disney World on the inside. These are 17. And these last two I believe are brand new. I love this one. Happy to be here for sure. This is 20. And then this last one just has listed all of the kind of Magic Kingdom foods, which is also perfect. This is also $20. Moving on, we got the classic Disney snacks, little gummies and things. I do need to find breakfast here soon. If you've watched the travel video, I'll link it down below. You'll see kind of where I'm at and why I'm losing my mind because I was up at like 2.30 this morning. We got Cuddles Plush. Those are also available at Target now though too. I don't know if anyone saw that. And just pretty standard. We got Mickey. We'll see a walk. We got Minnie still chilling. Ears. We got Walt Disney World. Got first ear hats, like small ones for 14. Oh, wait, that's a socks. 14 when you buy two. Oh, look at that. More kids' ears, more baseball hats. There's like the rose gold ish ears. What's this one? Ooh, these are th that Mickey design. I liked this. Came out uh, last year or beginning of this year. $70 for the sweatshirts. It's also a t-shirt version though. Wow, we're just we're just wandering here. Disney 100 shirt. Some Mickey golf balls. Some more just classic t-shirts maybe you forgot or on your way out you can grab. Here's a very standard just Walt Disney World Mickey merchandise including hats and shirts. There's a really neat little stationary section here. I love all these pieces that reference stories and look like they came right out of the stories. This Maps of Disney Parks book is very cool. I do indeed have it. There's some adult coloring books with very subtle, you see that? Very subtle Mickey head designs. That's kind of a good Christmas gift actually. This is $25 stencils, kind of how-to guides and whatnot, archives books, pretty good stuff. Look at that. Wow. Okay, so we've done the whole left side of the store. We're now on the other entrance, so we'll loop back around on the right side. You can see the other stuff, but this is a full 2024 display. Check out the new merch. Look at these designs. Look at Orange Bird is just flying, just soaring. Same with Figment over here. They're just, they're leaping into the sky. That is wild. 2024 sweatshirt. It says Walt Disney World down here on the sleeve. This is $55. It does have the pocket, so it's a hoodie. 
This lounge fly I think is quite cute. It, you can, lounge flies like this that are like multi-print like this, you can find ones that maybe don't have 2024 as prominent, maybe like this one, that, you know, I don't know, dated merchandise, I don't know how I feel about it, but I love this print, and if I could find one where the 2024s are kind of cut off, I think it's a super fun, just bright summer bag. Nice big pocket, it seems a little bit wider. Some of the other lounge flies, just a little bit. This one is 78. Of course, you need a Mickey plush wearing his 2024 merch too. This one's 30. Nice little throw over the shoulder bag with the same print on it. And I like the little water bottle section. This is $40. Moving on, pretty great Minnie Mouse neon shirt. Lovely, lovely. Um, how much is that? 35. Got some little baseball caps, baseball hats. These are 30. Here's the 2024 ears, which seem quite stiff, although traditional headband, just these are solid plastic ears. Got the castles that got glitter. Like, we're just partying in 2024, it looks like. And these are foam letter lettering. Does say Walt Disney World. They're pretty all right. They're, they're not bad. I like the colors. They're really selling it. Ooh, okay. Photo album. Look at that. Really nice. This is 25. Water bottle. Really pretty for 30. And then this mug is so fragile, but I love the look of it. We'll see if we'll focus on it. It's very, very thin glass, but it has that design on it. This is $19.99, $20. Look at the handle though. What? What? I keep saying what in this video because I'm in shock right now. We're losing our minds. We'll go over to the Christmas sign in just a second few more 2024 items. We have an all over print kids t-shirt, which is super fun. I hope they do more all over print shirts. It's 27. Oh wow, look how bright that is. It's so fun. And I love the characters they chose. This is 40. And this last one's a little onesie. Look at that. This is 24. On this side, we have one of the collectible trucks for 2024. How many times can I say 2024? This is $30. A beach towel. Look how fun. The, see, this for the summer will be really fun. That's 30. We got a, this is supposed to be a Disney bus or just normal? Oh, it says magic moment on the front of it. That is pretty nice. $17.99. We got ornaments. We have the ball. Mickey ornament. We have Mickey and Minnie in front of the castle. And we have a picture frame. Oh, and the little ear hat. Oh my gosh. There's a lot out already. How about this reversible bucket hat? I love this print. I almost just wish it didn't have the date on it. I don't know. What? How do you feel about the dated merchandise? Like. Now, it's funny because like I bought all the 50th merchandise and like I plan on wearing that like I, I bought it, I saved it and I plan on like really really wearing it a few years from now because then it'll be retro. But 2024 I don't think it's like a very significant like date. That would be cool like for I don't know, I don't know. I have some other um, shirts I'll be wearing that are, are retro now but I guess it just feels weird in the moment buying them. But like a few years from now it'll be cool to have because like then they'll look retro. Does that make sense? Here's some more 100th stuff which we have kind of previewed at the end of my college program a lot of the hundredth items. There's a whole video of Taylor and I going to Epcot to see the hundredth stuff. So I won't just walk by this stuff. But I do want to point out this new collection over here. This is the Play in the Park collection. I think this is, look how cute, look how cute this design. This is a kid's spirit jersey, so this is 54. Look at this bag. Play in the park for 35. Mickey and Minnie. It just says best vacation ever. And they got their tickets and their Dole Whip. They are 25 each. 
And then they have the ears, which again, I feel like I'm gonna have to get because they're like my color. Oh my gosh, beautiful. And they got all the attractions with the characters. Stunning, stunning, stunning. A few more things, we got the lounge fly wallet. If they do have the lounge fly, I might consider it for sure. Let's see, the wallet is 50. We got the little zipper pullover with mini embroidered on there. This is 65. But look how adorable he's got a pin lanyard on. Oh wow. So I'm sure we're gonna see a lot more of this. There's a puzzle set uh, throughout the park because this Play in the Park collection just came out and it will be on Shop Disney very, very soon. Let's look at some of this Christmas stuff. Oh yeah, these have the prices on them. Got cotton candy down there. We got a little chocolate advent calendar. We got the coffee. We got these little stockings with little gummies and peppermint candies in them. Oh no, that would be very, very cute for the display. Oh. I love this cushion too. Would look again great in the display. It's got the castle on the front of it. It looks like a big ornament bobble. It looks like someone ripped the price off of that one. Got the lounge fly for this year. This one has a fun little moving element stitch, kind of slides on the front. Let's see, lots of characters on it. This is 88, oh, and this is one that will hold your ears in it too, which is very, very helpful. Got other little countdowns and whatnot. These are online. Ooh, we have the new wintry ears. I've heard some mixed mixed thoughts on those ones. I like this spear jersey. I saw someone wearing it on the plane and I thought it was really pretty. Here's some other ears that got some mixed reviews. Interesting like layering that they, they did there. Really cute character Christmas shirts. This one I've never seen, little light up one with all the characters on the front. Oh, well, that's a pretty fun sweatshirt. Oh no. The candy cane sweater, the spirit jerseys, the crocs, the hats, the plushes. <gasps> this spirit jersey is super fun. See, I don't know really, if I like the big designs on the bottom, but like that's cute. I hope they did the lights on it. These pajamas. Oh, that's an interesting texture shirt. Huh. So I'll point out the I'll point out the last few new things. We got a little star magnet that lights up. He's pretty fun. Got the little magnet pals. Some Encanto magnet sets. This is cute. Magnet photo frame. The clouds. It's teal. Oh no. Just retro magnets. Just fun stuff. There's like a letter magnets. I'm sorry, not magnets. Keychains. I've been up for too many hours, you know. Just more little like things you might want to take home or gifts for people that you maybe forgot last minute. We love the big star plush. I don't even need to cover it. He's a, he's so cute. He's so cute. Wow. There's some jewelry pieces here too, which I feel like are more exclusive to the park times. Look at this one. It's got very, very subtle Mickey heads with little silver pieces in it. It's kind of artsy. Kind of like it. We got little stars, little Tinkerbells, little Mickey heads, little frozen snowflakes. I feel like these are generally fair price if you're looking for little gifts. I might end up getting the Tinkerbell necklace this time. I do have the earrings. We'll have to see. We'll have to see. I need to let need to let all this soak in. I'm not gonna buy anything just yet. As much as I would like to, we gotta gotta wait. What are these watches? What is... How fun is that? It's $40. The Winnie the Pooh and Tigger one would be super fun. The little matchy best friend ones. Kermit earrings. Mickey Mouse earrings. Little slap bracelets. Little DIY bracelet kits. And then they were restocking them so I didn't get to show them before. But of course they have magic bands for sale in here. Two. So that's gonna do it for now from the Magic of Disney store. I feel like it's a fair selection of Walt Disney World merchandise. I know there's a lot more to look at, but I'm happy to see that they have like the new collections here ready and available. 
very, very cool to see a nice preview. Somewhat take our time, as you can tell, very excited to get this adventure started. So thanks so much for watching. Hope it was helpful for you, and stay tuned for more of my Walt Disney World trip coming up here in the next few videos. So subscribe so you don't miss it. And as always, remember to do what you love and do what makes you happy. Oh my gosh, my teeth look green because there's a green light right here. So sorry. I'll see you all next time. Bye.